And I've actually been in the printing in this industry since 1998, so I know a little bit about printing. So this is part two of a two-part series. We started, we shown you how we uh, shaped the board, rounded the edges, we smoothed it out. But still, I tried to get rid of that, uh, the wood grain from coming up. You still get a little bit after you clear coat. I went ahead and put the first coat of clear on here. If I can get a lovely assistant here. Now you can feel that where it's actually raised up the yeah, grain. You really feel the prickly wood. Exactly. There's there's quite a you know bit of prickles there, as he calls it. But that's actually the grain raising up. So I mitigate a lot of that by using that alcohol, and it saves a little bit of time. But I still, after the first coat of lacquer, clear coat, I put on, I still kind of got to go over it with a sander and re-clear it again. You know, for screen printing, because you don't want any of those little prickles coming up, because it'll be like a, a spot that's missing ink. Uh, and when we screen print it. So I'm gonna take 600, sand this up real quick, and shoot it here. All I'm trying to do is make it nice and smooth again. And now, when I shoot that next coat of lacquer on it, it'll be just buttery smooth. And I use a semi-gloss. Uh, semi-gloss is, uh, it's not super glossy, and it's, you know, not satin or matte, so right. you're kind of in between the two. So I'll take a tack cloth and just go over it. This will pick up all that white dust. That white dust is, 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 your, is the previous coating of lacquer that I put on. So you got over the hand technique though. Good old hand job. Easy. <laughs> so basically I take brushing lacquer so this is not meant to be sprayed it's more for brushing on which you can brush it um, but I found with the dye veneers so if I brush it on it'll actually pick up some of that dye and uh, it'll if I've got another like a blue dye sheet it'll kind of transfer to you know a little pink onto the blue so I'd rather spray it on and it, it works faster and it, Puts a, it puts a better coating on it, I believe. It's really too thick to spray, mm -hmm. but I thin this down with lacquer thinner. Uh, seven parts this to three parts lacquer thinner, and it sprays pretty good. It's really nice coating. here on the board so I'm starting my spray off the board and I'm actually kind of just not slow slow because you don't want to run it so you just want to kind of nice little clip and you figure it out over time and just nice overlapping coats and that's where you, you get you know when when you get the good sun glare you can actually see you know I'll sit down here and look through it and make sure I don't have any, you'll see dry spots. So, and then, then you kind of got to go back over the whole thing again to get a nice good coating. But it takes a lot of practice to get that right. I want some love in. You want some love in. Okay. So this is my film positive. This is the first screen we're gonna put down today. I take a film positive and I burn it, and I'm actually making a, like a negative out of it by putting it on the screen. And I've actually been in the printing in this industry since 1998, so I know a little bit about printing. 
uh, just from pulling the squeegee. You know, you're putting so much force down. I'll take my my screen. I've already got my. Well, I haven't got it. I showed you the boom positive. Now I'm going to go ahead and kind of eyeball it, get it centered up where I want that graphic. I'm trying to use the truck holes as a guide. Tape it down. All I'm doing is sensibly lining that area up close as I can and then I'm trying to lock it in without moving it which is almost impossible so it takes a lot of fiddly stuff to get it right where I want it. squeegee that I showed you guys last week the curve guy so I can't flood the screen with this I can only print with it so I've got a, a flat squeegee that I've taken the hardware out because I use hardware from a skateboard you know I'm a total DIY maker guy so I use this guy to flood the screen first and this guy hill <sighs> First tee, first tee. Look at that. Nice and pretty. You know, the graphic is what sells the board. Nobody cares about all the work I put into to making these curves and all that stuff. So that's a pretty good tool. I'm really happy with that. Take a heat gun on really low heat. I don't like introducing any heat into the board because of warping, but we're gonna just just kind of help it along. I, tend to, I always let them naturally dry. You see how wet it was before, now it's just like, it's dry almost. Like, even after this, I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes. To, my next move is to do full board graphics. But I like, I really enjoy seeing the wood. I love to see the, the dye, you know, I love to see that. Because I want to know the damn thing's made of wood. The wood itself speaks for itself. I mean, you can see how beautiful that dye is. You know, it, it's, it would be, it's just a shame to cover it up. They typically take the dye sheet and they'll put it in the middle here. And, uh, yeah, you see that color in the, like, the yeah. middle of the board. Right, and and they'll put a dye sheet on top, but the bottom is just a, a natural veneer like this. It doesn't really matter because you're gonna be uh, heat transferring. It's ran through a, a heat press with a roller on it and it just pressure and heat will take that ink that I just pulled like old school and it'll essentially release that ink into the wood. You're getting good quality. I, I have no qualms about that. But uh, old school way, not so bad. Get attention to detail, you know, you gotta. Okay, this that white pink. that we just printed now, what color do we want to put over dude, top? Dude, I honestly think instead of contrasting with it, dip, dude, this fucking pink on pink. You think the pink on pink? I, I think I, so, I think man. I think we lose it, though. Like, I don't know. 
I think that might be interesting. Pink it is. This pink is really good looking pink too. That's like Pepto Bismol, dude. <laughs> Time some, you know. It's like really good looking color. Yeah, that's like Barbie pink. You know, it, it, that's it, sick. It, it, so that's our white base. Now we're gonna go put some pink on it. I mean, I'm like literally to put no pressure on, just kind of sweep them. This is just a tack cloth. It's not. It's a low tack. It's like it loses a little bit, but I mean, hand pulled, hand crafted, everything about it, everything about my skateboard, I have touched. You know, my hands have touched every little piece of this. So uh, it's it's very rewarding when I go to the park and, and see all the youngsters out there skating my boards. Uh, so you know, I put a lot of time and effort into this, and uh, and I, I try to make it show um, as much as I can. And I get better every every skateboard I make, every single one. I never rush, and that's a testament of how many people are waiting on boards right now. Uh, I don't rush anything. I, I try to, you know, take my time, do the best I can, because you end up like that wall over there where you got a bunch of crap that you can't use. And uh, that's kind of part of the learning process. One, there's not a lot of people out here doing this. In the DIY realm, it's 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 if they are, they're they're buying their boards somewhere else and throwing their what I call candy. These screens are primo. Like I'm really proud of these screens. We're gonna go ahead and put our last color on here, our black. way off but hey it's art baby when I'm registering it I usually offset it like the registration like I'll line it up a little off just so I can get, accommodate for the stretch but what I think happened there is I didn't lock into the, uh, the screen I didn't lock it in correctly and there you have it folks one screen printed skateboard Now don't get me wrong, Rust-Oleum makes like a, it's called a 2X clear, and I've put that on boards, and I tell you what, that Wait, board slide was the slickest board slide I've ever had. Oh my god, I didn't even need wax. 
no wax needed. 